everybody is having a wonderful day. I'm having a great day. And I just wanted to come to you guys today and just talk about something that I've been thinking about. And it has to do with how we need to go about resolving conflict. I wanted to go over five ways in order to do that. And the first one that I wanted to talk about is how when something happens, how we need to stop, pause, and get grounded. Make sure that when you're going through something, that it's not because of something that you're going through that doesn't have anything to do with the conflict because it could be misdirect anger. You have to make sure you're not angry about something else and you're taking it out on, on the person that you're having the conflict with. So the first one is just stop, pause, and get grounded and make sure you're directing your anger in the right place. The second way that we can resolve conflict is that we have to be mindful of our nonverbal communication. You have to watch your facial expressions, your hand gestures, your body language. Make sure that you are sending the message that you want to send with your gestures, with your facial expressions, with your hand gestures, with your body language. You have to be mindful of that because people can get the wrong impression. So just make sure that you're mindful of your nonverbal communication. Another way that we can resolve conflict is by showing empathy. The ability to show that you understand another per person's point of view is a very powerful tool. And in a lot of cases, it will diffuse the conflict. So being able to show that you understand someone else, even if you don't agree with their point of view, is very powerful and it will resolve a conflict quickly. So showing empathy will definitely resolve conflict. Another way to resolve conflict is by taking responsibility for your bad behavior. Um, taking responsibility for your part in the conflict. It doesn't show weakness, it just shows that you are aware of your part in it. So being able to own up to what you've done in the situation will definitely play a part in resolving conflict. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about when it comes to resolving conflict, taking a step back and gaining some perspective, looking at everybody's point of view, uh, you know, understanding what everybody is feeling in the situation, and that will allow you guys to maybe come to a compromise when it comes to the situation. So taking a step back, gaining some perspective will definitely help you resolve conflict. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I love you guys and always, always love yourself. And I will talk to you on the other side. Have a wonderful day. Bye.